Welcome! To this example of collaborative authoring and information sharing using OneNote 2010. We're going to take a look at a scenario of two authors and two people sharing information in OneNote across the PC, the browser, and a mobile phone. Let's start with the experience for Ian Palangio. He starts from opening the One Notebook from a SharePoint document library. He can either open that up in the OneNote client or view or edit in the browser. In this case, Ian's not going to open it at all from there. He's already got it open in his OneNote client, so it's available with him all the time, online or offline. And he's re doing research and putting together some information for the annual report. And you see he's got the notebook called OneNote Annual Report Research already open. And he can go ahead and continue to add changes, text, graphics, video, notes, thoughts, tasks, markup, drawings into this one notebook. In this case, he's going to add some text around, can we get the square meter coverage of our floor space in the state of New South Wales? In the thick client, the full features are there, as you normally expect, tagging things as important and to do in the one notebook. So as per normal, he's using OneNote. As a, as a place to keep track of information, capturing screen captures, managing them all within a one notebook available to him, both online and offline, whenever he's connected or disconnected from the network. At the same time, Ben, who's not on his normal PC and is at someone else's PC, is looking to collaborate and look at the same information. He can open up that one notebook from the web browser. By clicking on the link, it opens up in the OneNote web application. The ribbon appears, not quite as many features as the full client, because the client's where the best work happens, and all that information is exposed. The corporate information is available. Ian's changes haven't synchronized through yet, but Ben has full editing capability in that one notebook uh, of what's available to him in the web. So he can change text. He can change the formatting of that from red italic back to automatic formatting, which is black. You can also look at the graphic and the contextual picture tools tab appears and you can add some extra text. So a very rich editing experience even though it is in a web browser in a pure thin client mode with no software, no downloads required. Ben feels the penguins look happy and he'd like to know how we can foster morale like that across the rest of the office and the team. So both Ben and Ian are editing sections of that same notebook in a very wiki style way of collaborating. And coming back to Ian, he notices that the corporate background text has changed in a very similar way to Word the text changes automatically, and the changes are highlighted in light green text, giving me a subtle indication of what's changed when it got updated and refreshed. You see that I also have the ability to look at who authored each individual section or bullet point of this notebook. I can see who the author is or determine the hide that, and that can be turned on or turned off. So I can see some sections by Ben, some by me. I can then also go in and filter by author. And I can highlight corporate history and see that Ben edited some things, Ian edited some things, and it's all, all my authored content is highlighted in yellow. Ben's is highlighted in yellow when you click on his name. I can also sort by date. I can go get a summary of what just changed today or within the last week, etc. To give me a quick overview of looking at all the information in the notebook that has changed recently. Now one more thing that Ian's going to do is he's in a meeting and he's only got his mobile phone with him. Now in Office Mobile there's a OneNote mobile application. And OneNote mobile is not just a scaled down version of OneNote. It includes capabilities that are specific to that form factor. I can open up OneNote mobile, I can create new notes and type into it using the keyboard on my phone. And so maybe I'm working with some of the directors, maybe some with customers, uh, and we're whiteboarding some ideas, and, and I just want to jot them down into my phone, sort of ad hoc. It wasn't really planned to have a meeting. But something we did do is we whiteboarded up a whole bunch of ideas about how to generate something, 
related to that. So after the whiteboarding is done, I can then insert picture, maybe insert recording, or take a picture with my phone and have it incorporated into the notebook automatically. I'm going to select take picture. I'm going to point my phone at the whiteboard and press the take picture button. I can see all my ideas that we've collaborated on with the executives is now incorporated in my one notebook. Pressing done will save that file as a notebook called annual report and my phone will automatically synchronize with my PC. I have synchronization settings built up into ActiveSync to synchronize my one notebooks and when my phone's connected you'll see that I have a notebook called OneNote Mobile which synchronizes in those pages automatically and that's the, the note I just took a minute ago on my mobile phone appearing on my PC. Because this is my mobile notebook and it's now on my PC, I can do faster typing, I can do additional capabilities for collaboration that OneNote offers such as, if I highlight that, such as full editing for headings and styles and then I can just simply drag that over to my annual report notebook and put it into the background info section. By going to that page all that information is now just part of that notebook with all the changes from my phone incorporated. But because OneNote is also available as a web application if anybody else opens up that notebook either in the PC or the web or the mobile app, they'll be able to see all those changes come through automatically. By going into Firefox again and looking at that notebook, I can see those changes are automatically published to the web at exactly the same time and available in a thin client way for people like Ben to look at and update as he sees fit as well. OneNote's a really interesting way to have virtual teams work together across the PC, the phone, and the browser and always stay up to date. I think one of the really interesting applications of one notebooks at Microsoft is maybe to have a one notebook for every account or every customer that we have and whoever talks to that customer whether it's an account manager a technology specialist a solution specialist would be able to keep the notes from the meeting follow up actions manage them all in one shared notebook with everyone else across the organization a consistent customer centric view of all the information and activities we've had would be captured in a way that can be shared across any device. Hope that's a good summary of OneNote collaborative authoring and collaboration.